Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel here at Blooming Girl. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely fantastic and had such an incredible week. For today's video, I thought I'd share with you guys three delicious, satisfying, filling, and nutrient-dense breakfast recipes that you guys can enjoy first thing in the morning to help kick off your day to a nice, balanced, and nutritious start. These recipes are vegan, fully raw, and are so simple and so easy to make, so I'm super excited that I get to share them with you guys in today's video. Before we get started, please leave me a huge thumbs up on this video. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's jump into it. All right, guys, so for the first recipe, we're going to be making my Nutty Berry Bliss cereal. We're going to start off by making my Coco Dulce almond milk recipe. You'll need some raw almonds. I soaked mine in water overnight to just soften up the nuts. You'll also need some fresh coconut water. This one is from Harmless Harvest. It's my absolute favorite. It's so freaking sweet and delicious. Um, and I'm going to start off by straining my almonds and then washing them again before adding my almonds into my juicer. You can actually choose to peel off of the skin of the almonds, but I just prefer to leave it on there. Um, then I'm gonna be adding in my delicious coconut water and let the juicer work its magic. I'm using the Nama J2 to make this milk, of course. You guys already know I love my Nama. I just love how smooth the nut milk comes out of the machine. I just love it. To add some sweet vanilla flavor to this milk, I'm adding in my raw protein from Sun Warrior. This is completely optional, you don't have to add this in, but I'm just gonna mix it on in and then I'm gonna take my strainer to get rid of any excess pulp because we want our milk to be as smooth as possible. You can actually use a nut milk bag here instead of a strainer if you prefer. Now I'm gonna grab my palm tree coconut bowl to bring in those spring vibes and begin to add on some of my favorite toppings. You can obviously add whatever you desire here. I decided to add in some fresh raspberries, some fresh blueberries, and some raw walnuts as our cereal to give it that delicious crunch. For additional toppings, I decided to add some milled flaxseed as well as some raw almond butter on top. And there you have it, you guys. Our first recipe is complete. For recipe number two, we're gonna be making a sweet and satisfying vanilla bean cocoa crunch ice cream. I posted this breakfast on my TikTok and a lot of y'all actually wanted to see a complete recipe video, so here it is. In a high-speed blender of your choice, I'm using a Vitamix here. You'll need some frozen bananas, a little bit of fresh coconut water, and then you're gonna blend until it forms a thick and frothy ice cream consistency. This is actually more like a soft serve ice cream, so if you want a thicker consistency, then I would suggest um, adding less coconut water. For toppings, I'm adding on some raw hemp seeds, as well as some dark cacao nibs. And that's it, you guys. Recipe two is now complete. For my last and final recipe, I'm making my loco coco chia pudding. You'll need some chia seeds, and here I'm just adding four to five tablespoons in each 12 ounce jar. Then I'm gonna add my almond milk in each. I'm gonna stir it on up as well as shake it up and seal it up overnight. You want to make sure that you soak your chia seeds in the nut milk for at least eight hours so that they'll expand like what you see here and you get that nice and creamy pudding like consistency um, you can honestly soak your chia seeds in whatever nut milk you prefer so if you prefer cashew milk or macadamia nut milk go for whatever you like 
Then I'm gonna add my chia seed pudding into a bowl and add on some toppings. I decided to add some blackberries, some frozen blueberries, as well as a raw creamy cacao sauce from Artesana Organics. It's so sweet and chocolatey and it's just absolutely delicious. I also decided to add some shredded coconut flakes on top as well. And voila, you guys, our third and final recipe is complete. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave this video a huge thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave me a comment down below letting me know which of the three recipes I shared with you today looks to be your favorite or what you personally enjoy to eat for breakfast. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.